Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, Oxfu, and... Well, we're getting towards the end, guys. We just beat the Sand Dragon. So, I don't know who we're moving on to next, but... I guess we'll find out in just a second. One second, I'm just gonna turn my volume down on my TV. Cause you know, I've been playing L.A. Noir all week. Yeah, that's that's the reason I haven't been uploading, by the way. I know, a real great reason. I've just been playing L.A. Noir all week instead of recording any of this, so. Thy next foe is... A Guardian set loose. Closed off city beyond the channel. It lusts for destruction. So I actually have no idea who this Colossus is. So, we're gonna find out who it is. Wh what's up with this guy? You know, hey, what's up with that? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sorry about the pretty much unannounced hiatus in recording, even though I said, like, oh, I'll be back. And now that I have the knowledge that I can jump onto Agro's back, we can get on him pretty quickly. So it looks like we're actually going in the exact opposite direction this guy this time guys. So we're not gonna go well we're not gonna ro run into the wall this time are we aggro? No we're not. Um but what was I talking about? Yeah, so that unannounced hiatus from recording that I took was all because of LA Noir because the day before my birthday, this past Wednesday um, I went out and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go to the GameStop, see if I can pick up the copy that I need for one of my next LPs. But they didn't have it, so I ended up just being like, hey, I'm gonna trade in some games and get LA Noir, because it looks pretty good. And I've been extremely pre pleasantly surprised by it, because yeah, it's a Rockstar game, but you don't really... You're not on the side of crime this time. You're so, you're on the side of the law. You're playing as a police officer, uh, Lieutenant Cole Phelps. <laughs> well, Lieutenant in the in the Marines, um, Detective Cole Phelps, I suppose, outside of the Marines. Where are we going? We're going. Well, it doesn't help if I can't see with the sword now, does it? I guess we're going this way, aren't we? Back towards where we were with the turtle guy. Um. But yeah, it was pleasantly surprising because not only do you have the, the, uh, what's it called? Not only do you have the action and driving that you can expect from any Rockstar games, you also have the investigation that we've come to see with games like Heavy Rain and Batman Arkham Asylum. And it's really well done because you actually have to think and piece together things. Um, plus they put a, they put together a they, they put together a pretty cool um, interrogation system to talk to suspects and all. Um, it took a little while to just just to get used to it, just to understand like, oh, how am I actually supposed to use this? Because at first I'm like, well, I know you're not telling the truth, but I know that w one thing that you said is a lie, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use triangle to say, oh, you're lying. But that doesn't work, because I'm supposed to doubt you. <laughs> um, because I need evidence to prove you're lying, and I didn't know I could back out and just acute, just doubt you again. It took a little getting used to, plus actually like reading their movements and knowing and just knowing what to say. It just you have to get used to it. But otherwise, I, I completely was absorbed by the game. I played it almost continuously since I got it, and... Okay, we're not going this way, even though this looks more interesting right over here. Because you got the whole, like, shrine down there. Although, that looks like a place that we already went for another Colossus. Yeah. Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, that's where we did the little underground scorpion guy, isn't it? But it looks like we're going this way if we don't run into a tree. But yeah, it's, it's a really good game. It's probably one of the best games that I've played. One of the best new games that have come out that I've played in a really long time, so I really enjoyed it. And I'm gonna go this way. Just 
go right. Do neither way looks like it's gonna go turning, so I might as well go right and double back if I'm wrong. But yeah, um, had my family birthday on Wednesday, and that turned out pretty well too because, well, it wasn't. Well, I got presents, <laughs> um, but it was it was pretty cool because they weren't the usual presents that you'd expect to get during a birthday. Like I got a sandwich cutter. <laughs> From my sister, which sounds... Or, was it from my sister? Yeah, it was from my sister, I think. Which, I mean, sounds pretty lame when you think about it, but... Uh, when you when you first hear about it, but... I mean, I got Bronto sandwich cutters. <laughs> so I can make Bronto sandwich pieces. I'm gonna be the coolest kid at UConn. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was really cute and really awesome. Plus, I got, like, a, I got a tin Star Wars New Hope lunchbox, which was really cool, too. And I guess Aggro can't swim, so we have to slowly make our way across this lake. Um, what else did I get? Well, my girlfriend got me an amazing video. You know, it might you might have heard of it when it came out earlier this year. Um, this little thing called Tangled, which I absolutely adore that movie because it's just... Well, I mean, it's going back to the Disney princess thing, but it doesn't really focus on her being a princess. It focuses on it focuses more on the characterization of the of the people, and it doesn't make them unbelievable. Because I mean, she's not really a princess. She hasn't spent her time around royalty. She spent her time cooped up in a tower. And I like to think like when she first gets out and she's going around like, oh my god, oh my god, it's so great out here, my mom's gonna kill me. Like she's just going absolutely insane and this is all in her mind just because it, it's a lot funnier that way. Can we break these? Oh, I guess not. Oh well. I don't even know why they're here. Um... And then I can't even remember his name. Um... Slick, whatever his name is, the 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 thief. I can't even remember what his name is. Uh, he's just he's such an anti anti hero because he he's played up to be like oh this really suave, really skilled thief, and then he's not. He's just trying to make a name for himself. All right, so it looks like we want to go down here. I'm guessing. Aha. No, go. There we go. Alright. That's not bad. Uh, and go through here. Alright, there's stairs here? Yeah, okay, there's stairs here. But yeah, it was... It was pretty fun. And then... A few days ago, I got... Uh, my girlfriend came over again, and we were playing... What I have now decided to... Do as a Let's Play after I finish up with this one, so... That is pretty fun, because now I just really got in the mood to play it, so it'll be it'll be a lot more fun for me, but it'll also be, hopefully, a lot more fun for the rest of you as well, who decide to watch it. Well, what's this guy? 